I'm at Druids, and we're doing the sort of first evening of um, viewing the Western Hall sale of the Sixth Hall House. And I've been responsible for a room here to try and make it look cosy and sort of reinvent it for today. So come in and let's see what's been going on. So welcome to my Edith Sipwell sitting room. I love this carpet on the floor because I think it gives all the richness of colour. And um, this was where I was very excited to find all this wonderful collection of blue and white. And the wonderful thing about blue and white is you can mix so much of it. This is a really good pot and it's a Wan Li Chinese pot. These two are also Chinese. Very, very good. I'm going to get the name wrong, but they are very, very serious. They are Yang Ji. And then these are Delft, and I just love the way you can mix it all together. And so I thought this was a rather welcoming, I mean, in a big hall or something, you can put all this, um, uh, arrange it all together and add bits and take them away. So what we have in the rest of the room, two rather comfortable, nice little chairs. I'm going to try and buy them soon. I think they're really good. Um, I think it's quite interesting in this small space to hang rather big portraits um, and take over the whole wall space. I think hanging pictures is a quite, quite an interesting way of modernising um, an interior. And then I love this wall of all these wonderful, um, well there's Chelichev here, there's a Sickert here, there's Dame Edith in the middle and of course the Chelichevs were mainly given to her uh, for one reason or another by Chelichev so it's a really interesting collection here and rather I think slightly unexpected for Chelichev actually. Um, I love this little cabinet, really useful. Um, some people think that this sort of furniture is no longer desirable, I totally disagree, I think it's absolutely wonderful and I think it gives every room a sort of central point and what I love in here, in this little secret cupboard, is a little leaflet or small booklet written by Sir Osbert Sitwell called A Letter to My Son. And how handy is that? And what a wonderful feeling it would give a very, very good wood. Just, you know, having some depth. Now what I did here was I added some furniture of my own. This, these are tables from Nina Campbell Limited there from a company in America called Oomph. And I love the play of the classic half moon table being done in black lacquer with a brass edge and suddenly here, wonderful blue and white pots filled by John Carter, the florist, with these blue hydrangeas for today. Another very, very nice pair of pots, octagonal pots underneath. So you've sort of contemporized slightly um, something that is considered old. Um, there's this wonderful set of chairs which we've just popped this red seat on to bring out the coral red there. And um, I love these. In fact, we've got three in this room, but I think there are six or eight in the sale. Uh, we've also brought one of our own sofas in to just, again, make it look a little bit more comfortable in some place. I've been sitting here this afternoon contemplating, and it's jolly comfortable with one of my new fabrics on the sofa. And then a very good, useful, Actually, I think I put this in a country house bedroom, this mirror. It's been painted white. Um, it could easily be gilded. Um, it could paint, be painted any colour, actually. It would be lovely. Painted pale green. It would be lovely. Uh, painted anything, actually. I think it's jolly nice. What else have we got? I love this cornucopia of cuttings. I was so excited when I found that. It's so silly. And I think you know, decoration, a lot of decoration needs to be a bit silly, otherwise it all gets too serious. And then we've got a beautiful little desk, which would go very well in the same room um, as that cabinet over there. Again, a nice little cupboard in the bottom, to hide things away. Beautiful little piece of furniture. And obviously a very good, um, it's come from a very good place. There's a little Severini uh, water, uh, gouache, ink and gouache here full of violins and wines and grapes and everything else, making it very cheerful. And then we've got um, Georgia Sitwell, rather wonderful painting there. And she has, is above um, 
the Rex Whistler um, birthday testimonial for her, which I think is lovely, sort of placing there. And then fabulous big window I want to pal out with our new fabric at the windows, which I think works extremely well for um, all the colours in this room. And it is, we've called it Maracanda, it's a part of the new collection. The masks, if you feel like scaring anyone to death, are rather fun. Especially this one, which I can just imagine Dame Edith wearing with this sort of crazy lily of the valley coming out of the top. Wouldn't want to go to that party. And then here is one of her dresses and this marvellous top hat. I think this is called a coquette, actually. Not sure, but I think so. Anyway, couldn't be grander. And, um, and then the coat of arms of Lord Barnards, Barnardson and um, more portraits. And here we are finishing the room. What, the, what I'm going to leave in, I hope, is this little car, pedaling away down Pall Mall, but full of citral books. I just think it's absolutely wonderful, and I'm sure there's lots of people who will remember having a pedal car, possibly not as grand as this one. So I hope you come to the sale and enjoy it, and enjoy coming and visiting my room.